your own deck with Ursula Camille. And this is The Triage Room. The Triage Room is a podcast that encourages and empowers listeners to overcome obstacles of pain. Pain is the physical suffering or discomfort caused by illness or injury. When we describe the type of pain we're having, we're really describing the symptoms. Once we identify the symptoms, then we can deal with the roots. Welcome to The Triage Room. You're now on deck with Ursula Camille, and this is the triage room. Today's topic, the pit had purpose. Let's take a look at Genesis chapter 37, verses 23 through 25. And it came to pass when Joseph was come unto his brethren, that they stripped Joseph out of his coat, his coat of many colors that was on him. And they took him and cast him into a pit And the pit was empty. There was no water in it. And they sat down to eat bread. And they lifted up their eyes and looked. And behold, a company of Ishlamites came from Gilead with their camels bearing spicery and balm and mirth, going to carry it down to Egypt. So here we can see where Joseph's brothers had decided they were going to strip him of his coat and put him in his pit. Joseph was a dreamer. His brothers had hatred. They had envy of him. And they took the coat, stripped him of his coat, which was symbolic of stripping him of his rank and position and placing him into this pit. For their hatred and envy was so strong towards Joseph. And when it comes to the pit had purpose, Joseph was placed into this pit. No water, no food, a dry place. While now his brothers are off eating bread thinking of the next thing on how to do away with him. So Joseph being in this pit, how did it have purpose? In this moment, those that Joseph loved betrayed him, plotted against him, placed him in an unfair position, placed him in a place that was not in their eyes beneficial and would contribute to his downfall, would contribute to them being able to do away with him. So while he has no food, he has no water, they're off to the side eating, thinking of more ways of how to get rid of him. When you look at life within itself, who are those that you have loved or that you do love that you've been placed in a position not of your own hand or not by your own doing, but those that have worked to put you in a pit of their own, a place that's left you with nothing. A place is supposed to be designed to be your downfall. All because they have evil hearts. All because of jealousy and envy for whatever reason. Sometimes in life, the lessons that we learn when placed in this dry place that we didn't ask to be in. When those come who feel like they have the authority to strip what God has placed in position. As far as rank and position. With or without the coat. Joseph's rank did not change. It did not remove the purpose God had on Joseph's life. Being placed in the pit did not change the destiny that God had for Joseph. Though it may have looked at that time as if his brothers were gaining in their plots and what they were really thinking of doing. The end result, Joseph's destiny spoke louder than the pit Joseph originally was placed in. Sometimes the pit that one has designed or one has thought to themselves that they will place you in by their own hand is purposeful to allow one to know how to love those in spite of what they have done. To allow character to still be intact. It's easy to love those who love us. It's easy to Speak well and do well when it seems like things are going well. But what happens when you're placed in an uncomfortable, unfair position and all you're doing is operating out of your gift? All you're doing is being excited about what God is doing for you and you're sharing in love, not even knowing that those you are in the presence of have envy in their heart towards you, have hatred in their heart towards you. And it's so strong that your presence has become too much. So now because 
what God has placed upon you, what God has placed upon you in your purpose and where he's taking you has become so great. They can't even wrap their mind around it. So now here's this pit that they have decided. This is where you belong. No matter what man may think when God hand is upon your life, there's nothing that can change the course according to where God is taking you and the purpose he has you here for. Joseph's purpose did not change because he was placed into the pit. The pit had purpose. The beginning of the preparation for where God was taking him. The beginning of the preparation for his journey to get there. Sometimes we can look at life and think the journey is going to be easy. But when it begins with the pit and the Lord raises you up out of that place, just know the next steps are all contributing factors to the end goal to where God is taking you. And it does not stop what God has already spoken. It does not stop. Joseph's gifts did not stop because he was placed into the pit. That pit only identified who he was in the presence of. No longer could he be gullible or naive to the fact that his own brethren meant him no good, that his own brethren betrayed him. No longer could he be ignorant to the fact to see the heart of his brethren in that moment being placed into the pit, revealed the heart of those that he loved, but did not love him back. And here's my moment of transparency. I know what it's like to be involuntarily placed into a pit, a dry place where others are eating. And the intention was to leave you with absolutely nothing while planning the next move or so that I would not go towards the direction God would have me to go in. It was even once said to me, I thought you weren't doing that anymore. My response, why would you think that? This is where God has me. This is the gift God has given me. And this is what I do. Which in that moment, in that conversation revealed, you were hoping that the pit you thought I was in would keep me from moving forward and what God has designed me to do. But all it did was reveal the heart of the one who voluntarily worked to place me in that position, a dry place. But this is where I was able to see God move more in my life. This is where I was able to grasp and understand what it is to love those who do not have a heart for you. This is where I learned that just because you're in a pit in this moment, that is not your final destination. Get the lesson. And all it did was equip me for the journey. Whatever fear factor that may have been there, false sense of what I thought may have been there, all of it got dealt with in the pit. Because the pit revealed truth. The truth of what was operating in me, the truth of what God has seated inside of me and the truth of those who were around me that purposely dug the pit and purposely wanted me in it. Sometimes being in the pit can reveal a truth that some of us may have not been ready for a truth that some of us may have asked God for, but really hadn't prepared as God began to unravel and begin to reveal the truth. The pit will show you yourself and the pit will show you the heart of others. As Joseph was in this pit with no water left for dead, the plans of others changed and pivoted to how could they profit off of him being in this pit? How could they profit up off of a brother that they envied and they hated so strong? But in the end, Joseph still fulfilled purpose. In the end, Joseph still operated in his gifting in the end joseph still got stronger and went on the journey the path that god designed for him so i encourage you don't have a bitter taste in your mouth because of the pit you may be once were in or you may be finding yourself in right now trust god and know that god has a greater purpose and nothing happens unless god allows it the key is Staying in a place and trusting God, whether you're in the pit or whether you've been removed out of the pit, the pit has purpose. We have to embrace and understand the purpose of why we were once in the pit. Get your understanding. Don't let it change your character. Continue to love. Continue to trust God. See what you need to see so you can grow and go in the direction God has destined for you. The pit is not there 
to take you out. Even though that may be the plan of man, but the pit is there to remove and understand what it is for you and God to walk together. So that the gullible place you were once in telling the wrong people the right thing, but the wrong time. It's not for them to know. They can't grasp all that God is doing in your life. So the pit shows you. Nah, they, they can't receive what God is doing for me. They don't love me the way that I love them. They don't have a heart for me the way that I have a heart for them. So now it puts you in you and God. Understanding how to move you and God. Building your character. So that when you come out of the pit, there's not a bit of taste. You understand what it is to be alone in a dry place left for dead but God still chose to raise you up and pull you out let us pray father God I come to you in the name of Jesus Lord just to say thank you I thank you for life health and strength God I ask you those father that may have been in a pit recently and don't understand God why those that they have trusted designed strategized their own pit for them to fall into dug the pit for them to be placed into the Father, they're still in that hurt place, that place of pain. The Father, now's the time that they let it all go. I cast out the spirit of deep pain, deep hurt, resentment, rejection, and abandonment in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I speak right now, Father, the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against us, there is no law. God, I speak healing in their hearts. The Father, they will get understanding to know, God, that the pit that they were once in had purpose, that whatever the lesson is, God, that they're able to embrace it and come out better when they come out of the pit than they went in, that they don't allow this to be a bitter time in their lives, God, but allow it to be something to help change their lens and see things for what they are and not for what they want them to be. That this is the time, God, for their character to be shaped and molded even the more, for them to be stretched and not stressed for them to be in a place, God, to see you for who you are and how you move swiftly on their behalf. That those that may have had a hand and the placing them into this pit that God, it does not mean that they won't go towards destiny, that all of it is a part of a bigger picture that they're allowed to make them stronger than they were before they went into the pit. Lord, I thank you. I praise you and I glorify your name in Jesus name. I pray. Amen. You all be blessed. Thank you for joining me on deck in the triage room. To get the music you hear in this podcast or to stay connected, visit my website, UrsulaCamille.com. That's U-R-S-E-L-A-C-A-M-I-L-L-E.com. Sign up on my email list, get merch and more. Have an area of pain you want to address in the triage room? Send your email to the triage room at gmail.com. I'm your host, you Ursula Camille, signing off. Be blessed. One touch in your life change. Did you know that Jesus reigns? One touch in your life change.